Welcome back to Lock and Reload. I'm going to go ahead and do a tabletop review on the Irene Adaptive Sling from Mission Spec. Later on in the video I will go through the different functions and how you transition from two point to single point um, and just the different characteristics of uh, this particular sling. The first thing when I opened the box, the one thing that that made me very pleased over any other sling that I've ever uh, used, touched, opened is the fact that they get the one they give you instructions. They give you very detailed instructions and the instructions are in color. So that was the first thing about this sling I was very pleased when I opened the box. Now the sling itself is very simple in design and that's what I like. I like simplicity. Uh, basically what came with it was the sling and uh, your buffer tube uh, adapter for the AR platform. Now this sling was designed with the soldier and the AR or M4 or M16 in mind. Because as you know there are a lot of good slings, there are a lot of bad slings, there's a lot of good designs, a lot of poor designs. You know it comes down to it co comes down to preference is what it is. But anyways they give you the buffer to adapter to uh, the AR. Now my question of this whole sling, if you can use it on an AR platform can you use it on an AK-47? The answer is yes. And later on in the video I will show that. Um, I was able to adapt it to my AK-47 and have very positive results. So basically in my eyes I believe you can adapt this sling to pretty much any weapons platform. I don't know about the SKS but maybe I'll shoot a video and maybe it'll work for the SKS too. So anyways as long as it's in its modern configuration. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and do quality as far as what I believe is very high quality and high speed on this sling. First off is the material. This is a high rugged nylon. Uh, it's very very high quality. It it's not gonna break. It's not gonna do anything that is going to lead you to destruction if that makes any sense. So if you're in a combat situation, WR well, a zombie apocalypse this is going to last you for years. Just because how it's constructed, the materials that were made uh, to assemble this. Um, one of my one of the great features of this sling is uh, all the retainers or um, what's the word? The D-rings on it not so much D-rings, the keepers. I believe that they're called keepers. You have many different options as far as adjusting. Uh, this piece actually is between you and your chest. This uh, clip or clasp or or whatever you want to call this thing. Connect, disconnect, very very high quality you know it's not just your cheap plastic very very positive lock on it I believe it's made out of a plastic polymer design it's not going to break anytime soon but it has a very positive click the other feature that I, I like and dislike and I like them very much but I'm not going to get into dislikes because I can't think of anything better that's going to work as far as uh, attachments to the actual rifle. These keepers are what actually attach to your single point in the rear and your uh, front mount towards the muzzle of the firearm. And they, these are called mash hooks. Basically you press, uh, press them together and they come open. And basically they work on a key ring theory. Uh, so I, I find these high speed and, but they are great quality. They're made out of good quality steel. They're a good design, they're simple. Simplicity is always the best when it comes to anything. Uh, the more simple something is, uh, and the less components, the le less breakage you're gonna have. Now, again, this has you know your quick release and your quick pull, which is kinda nice. Again, made out of a high speed, high polymer, and uh, just the webbing or the nylon is just great, great quality. 
Now I do plan on field testing this uh, sometime this year. I don't know when, but when I do I will shoot a video. I'm going to be shooting some run and gun. But anyways, this is the Irene Adaptive Sling for mission spec. Uh, you can use them, now you can use them for not only the AR platform, but I know for damn sure you can use them for the AK platform. They're very high speed, they're very, very simplicity. You don't have to worry about the mess of you know certain slings out there. And the one and only gripe besides the mash hooks that I have, and honestly I like the mash hooks, but I just can't come up with anything better, so they work is I wish the nylon was a little wider. That's about it. Because if you don't have any gear on and you're just wearing it over a t-shirt, these really do kind of dig into your shoulder. If you let them, especially when it's tight to your back. So you don't have to worry about repositioning because everything's tight and solid. And that's the only thing I wish they would do is make these a little wider. The sling was designed for the AR platform, right? I have yet to see a video of somebody that uses the Irene Adaptive Sling for mission spec from mission spec to use on an AK platform rifle, specifically with all their gear on. Generally, I don't shoot videos with gear on and whatnot, just because you know, and it's just not me. It's not what I do. I train with this stuff um, on a frequent basis. But anyway, the Irene Adaptive Sling. Uh, from Mission Spec. I purchased it last week and it seems to be uh, one of the best slings I have ever encountered. Um, I have things like uh, I have a single point sling. I don't remember who the maker was and you know it's fine and whatnot but I just really didn't care for it because it was in single point, single point only. Anyways at the end of this video, I'll probably add up Tate and do a short clip on all the features that are on the Irene uh, Adaptive Sling, or I'll have it before I've yet to decide, but I'm going to shoot this preliminary. The, the, the idea behind the Irene uh, Adaptive Sling is to have essentially three positions. Your two-point sling, which is right on my chest, to a single-point sling, um, and the transition between the two-point sling and the single-point sling to be a rapid change. Uh, there are many different functionalities of a sling, uh, but on the mission spec uh, particular sling, uh, sling uh, specifically the Irene Adaptive Sling, they have innovations as far as the new attachments that are on the sling, as far as you know the hardware and whatnot. Um, a little bit about the, the sling itself. A mission spec designed it with the soldier in mind and the people that are generally, they want a comfortable sling that's going to serve their purpose. But like I said, stated, there is no, not that, unless I'm not digging far enough, I haven't seen anybody use the Irene Adaptive Sling from mission spec for their AK-47. Well, let me tell you, it works and it works well. Uh, a few things about it that you have to do that you don't have to do with the uh, AR platform. But just a quick point, um, when I got the sling in the box, uh, actually came in a pretty big box just for a sling, I was very impressed with the quality material, uh, the hardware that's on it, and I'm very, very much impressed. Uh, not to mention the adaptive capabilities of the particular sl sling. But anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you a little bit on what it does to transition from the two-point sling, as you see, to the single point, and then possibly go ahead and just do a standard shoulder sling, two-point shoulder sling, too. Uh, but anyways, as you see it, this is the two-point sling, uh, in the two-point sling mode. Basically, you wear it like any other sling. Now, the innovation of... Mission spec is they des they designed a hook called a mash hook. It's easier to put on than it is to take off, so it takes some uh, muscle memory and it takes some practice. But anyways, with the mash hook, you pretty much unclip it, and right away it goes to single point, and you're already at single point, so it's actually quite quick to do. And then the actual mash hook goes flush to the weapon and then uh, again it takes a little bit to actually put it on, Hang on. but 
again, I just got it so I'm still learning on it and whatnot too, but that's basically from two point sling to single point and vice versa. The other util, uh, the other cool feature about it too is when you're in two point sling and you don't need your weapon and you need to transition to your sidearm. So if you need to transition into your sidearm, basically with the AK-47, uh, you have to do it a little different than the AR. AR, you grab the, uh, you literally grab the butt of the stock and then you rotate it around. Unfortunately, the most of your AK-47s have a scope rail uh, mount on the side, so it's going to hang up on your gear. So what you do is you grab right by your single single point, bring out and back. Then to cinch it down, you essentially grab the top strap on the single point, the double point and you cinch it tight. It's comfortable, it's not going anywhere, you know, it's stuck to my back, it's not going anywhere. Uh, the cool feature is you just grab and pull. Um, obviously I'm a smaller guy so I have a lot of, a lot of fabric left over. Uh, the, other, the other part is when you want to go back to your primary weapon, you grab essentially this, uh, this D-ring, I believe it's called a D-ring, you pull up, and it brings it back. Then you grab the same spot. You do the same. You wrote it. You reverse the process of putting the rifle in back. You you grab out, pull out, and your rifle's back. It's an awesome sling. Uh, I I do highly highly encourage anybody and part of the tactical community to go ahead and try one out. Uh, they're right around thirty five bucks. Which, uh, I think they they come out to just under forty bucks with shipping, which is pretty reasonable. But uh, like I stated, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through the finer points of quite literally the fabric, um, all the durable parts that they added on to this particular one. But like I stated, nobody else I've seen on YouTube actually has a YouTube video on the AK-47 with the Irene Adaptive Sling for Mission Spec. But uh, anyway, no, it's very versatile and whatnot, but you know, I'll show you again how it works. Basically, if you can see this, there's a mash hook. And basically you grab out, goes into single point mode, and then when you want it to go back to back to two point, then you just grab the mash hook again in reverse action, and grab it and put it on and call it a day. But uh, like I stated, and then if you want to go ahead and put it on your back again, you just grab on the AK-47, and I repeat, Grab by your single point mount, pull out, pull away from your body, slide around. And then obviously after it's on your back, then you just pull it around, call it a day. It's tight to your back, it is not going to move anywhere. Your muzzle and your rifle stays out of the dirt. So for whatever reason, uh, the whole principle behind mission spec, your rifle is never detached to your body. The only time you really need to detach your firearm from your body is a sticky situation, you know, whether you, you know, you're actually in the U.S. forces and you were wounded by gunfire and you need to take it off rapidly, you can do so. You know, quite frankly, as far as the rapid feature and whatnot, it is highly versatile. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and uh, not take the, quite literally, you don't want to take the entire sling off. Then you go ahead and grab each mash hook, take it off. You can keep the sling on and your rifle, you can obviously go ahead and set it off to the side. You know, it's no problem. And taking it off is almost as easy as putting it on. So basically just, you know, reverse unless you want to run it in single point right away for whatever reason but, uh, anyway this is the Irene adaptive sling um, I highly recommend it you can use it on your ARs you can now use it on your AK-47s uh, so contact mission spec and go ahead and ask for your Irene adaptive sling but anyway at any rate this is Lock and Reload of Prime I'll catch you later